Hi everybody and welcome back. It's Sean of course and I'd like to tell you or celebrate about my one week mark. It's actually been nine days so uh, quite a bit of time that we've had there. Let's see. Uh, number one, these are not the electronic cigarette. Obviously is not a real cigarette and that's something that you got to uh, wrap your mind around. What I mean by that is uh, there will be some habit changing and it's not the exact same thing. Uh, first thing that I noticed my first couple of days in was my amount of moodiness. Uh, couldn't concentrate, things of that nature. I was still okay, like, you know, when I wanted a little bit of nicotine and the habit that you had, all of that. But uh, it was interesting that I saw that. So what is in a normal cigarette that might uh, make me a bit moody? Eh, either way, uh, it only lasted a couple days, so that was okay. Health. Let's see. I am sleeping like a baby, so that's good. I'm zonking out, not waking up. Uh, something that recently, in the last year or so, 20-year smoker, hadn't had that anymore. Uh, have been having a little bit coming up there uh, as far as uh, coughing, but I take it that that's a better thing. I was breathing better uh, as far as I can bring, bring in more air to my lungs, but uh, I haven't noticed a difference as far as uh, you can probably hear it a little bit while I talk on these uh, videos. I have that little, that raspiness. Uh, recently, over, I, uh, it was actually today, recently, uh, my lungs did hurt slightly, just a little bit, and I did do some research on that. It's a very common thing for smokers uh, once everything's starting to heal. All right, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose. My nose has been a faucet on, off, on, off. have no idea why, but I have uh, something to do with 20 years of being addicted to more than just nicotine. All right, uh, so... First warning that I have, uh, you'll see on my Zig Sig website to help uh, people out uh, as far as uh, smoking, go, well, uh, smoking electronic cigarettes go, is uh, be very careful about your nicotine intake uh, with these guys here. I was so paranoid about it um, that I wasn't. I wasn't actually using this unit enough and as much as I should have. It wasn't until about two or three days in I was talking to somebody I knew who was a fellow smoker. I said, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm kind of nervous every time I feel, you know, uh, that I'm a little dizzy or a little bit of sweats, things of that nature. And he told me, he goes, that's what you go through when you just stop smoking. So um, that was one of the things I was impressed to actually see that, that I slowed that down. I uh, have improved on that, though. All right, my taste buds are coming back. Woohoo! Uh, after 20 years, blueberries, steaks, all these kind of different things are tasting much better. Uh, again, you know, you, you just notice everything kind of healing in your mouth. As I found out, I talked to somebody I know medically. Uh, what it is with your taste buds and all that is it's tar that coats your entire mouth. And as that goes away, and of course, taste buds always grow back, so you're good on that. Okay, so that also leads me to one other quick thing. Remember I was talking about having e-liquid juice uh, reviews that I'm going to do? Uh, a lot of these liquids are starting to taste a lot better. Uh, I've had some that, you know, I put down and I didn't even want to touch it again. Uh, Johnson's Creek, it was Tennessee Cure. And I was like, oh, that doesn't taste like anything. Also, I'm like, ooh, I taste the caramel and all that. Whatever. Uh, that was one of the uh, interesting things that you had there. Okay, uh, let's see. So uh, I'm not going to talk about e-liquids until later down the road. And uh, one other uh, quick thing is uh, psychologically there are differences with this habit. Um, I personally am not promoting this product. As you guys all know, this is my opinions and my reviews anyways, but I don't want to mislead anybody. This is technically not a NRT, as it's called. Uh, that is, of course, a uh, as they uh, call it, it's a uh, nicotine reduction uh, therapy. And that's something that the professional medical uh, public uh, does not do that. You know what? Actually, I'm going to hit something up here, folks. All right. This is an interesting thing that I found out. Now, me personally, smoker 20 years, knew it in the back of my mind. It, it's more than just putting on a patch. I couldn't do that. I already knew. I already tried to quit. Uh, twice over the years, you know, there's more that we like. There's this, right? There's this sensation of going back and forth, uh, just that dependency as far as when it's a stressful day, when it's a good day. Isn't it weird? It's like, hey, my car just broke down. I need a cigarette. And then you're like, uh, oh, hey, that was a great steak. It tasted so good. Let me have a cigarette. Whatever. Okay. Uh, very quickly, this is something interesting that I just ran across, and that is how NRTs don't work all that well. 
Uh, as a person is participating in an NRT, they are instructed not to smoke cigarettes. Uh, hello. Uh, thus, uh, weaning them off of the actual habit and routine of smoking the cigarettes. In theory, a person can slowly decrease the amount of NRT until they have stopped smoking completely. Although the idea is impressive and the technology available, this simply does not work for most people. According to Wikipedia, which actually is pretty good, only 7%, 7% of attempt of people attempting to stop smoking using an NRT were still smoke free after 6 months. Uh, even with highly uh, high intensity counseling, the uh, number only jumps to 22%. Get into some of that stuff about the NRTs later. I can agree how you have some health professionals saying this is not an NRT because it's pretty much the same thing as smoking. That's true. Uh, is this a healthy habit to have? No, of course not. Anything that you put in your body is not healthy, right, guys? I mean, or in gals. Um, but it is something that can improve versus cigarettes. That's the way I, I really uh, have looked at this myself, inside myself as, hey, I can have a real cigarette or I can have this. Now, using it as an NRT, I've already started to look around as far as how I can reduce the amount of nicotine that is in the uh, the e-liquid that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to start working on that. So we'll get into that in uh, later videos that we have there. But uh, for right now, and that's right, everybody, I, think I'm, I definitely think I'm going to be keeping to this. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the house smells better. The dog actually smells better, but I think that's because my wife washed him. Uh, uh, another thing uh, that I've uh, noticed is just those little things, you know, not having the ashes everywhere, stinky ashes, uh, that smell. Unfortunately, I've already noticed that I smell smokers, and I've made it a very conscious decision uh, to not say anything or not make any change. I don't want to turn into that guy who's like, oh, you smoke? Oh, no. If somebody wants to smoke in my car and hear me, hey, you know what? We're, we're all the same, right? All right, so uh, that's one of the things that you have right there. Uh, I do have urges to have a real cigarette. I'm going to be very forward. Uh, it is something in the back of my mind where it's like, hey, why don't you have that? But this has curved it pretty quick, and I think, you know, I've already made it nine days. I'm going to keep on going with it. I am tempted to try a cigarette for the pure fact of all the forums and everything that I've read. It says that it is good to try a cigarette after several weeks because you're not going to like the taste, and you'll actually uh, gag over it. So that will be kind of interesting. All right, so uh, that is uh, some of the things that we have right there. I'm uh, going to be getting into a, a lot of other things in our later videos. I'm really curious to try the Prodigy. I don't know uh, if uh, you're somebody who's been into the electronic cigarette thing there, but um, I'm going to get into that in later videos. I'm even actually going to explain, you know, just for the simple guy just coming in here and starting all this, you know, how does one of these electronic cigarettes work? One thing I do want to uh, point out before I stop this uh, particular video, Video and we move on to other ones. I have something brilliant to sell you right now. That's right, everybody. I'm going to sell you something. I've got great ashtrays. I've got big ashtrays. I've got old ashtrays. I've even got cool looking ashtrays because you know what? I don't think I'm going to need these anymore. Yes, I was kidding. All right, everybody. I'll see you next time. A day in the sun.